Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, Prol number 11. Gauss Law, Prol number 11. Figure shows a closed Gaussian uh, surface in the shape of a cube of edge length 2 meters. Uh, that is area of each space will be uh, 4 square uh, meters. With one corner at x1 equal to 5 meters and uh, y1 equal to uh, 4 meters. The cube lies in a region where, uh, where the electric field vector is given by E is equal to minus 3i plus 4 minus 4y square j plus 3k uh, newton per coulomb where, uh, with y in meters. What is the net charge contained in the cube? So we have to find out uh, net charge enclosed by the cube. We have this cube here. We have this cube here. X1 is equal to 5 meters. Y1 is equal to 4 meters. So for this face here, for the right face, y is equal to 4 meters. For the right face, y is equal to 4 meters. Remember, uh, uh, length of the cube, length of the cube is 2 meters. Length of the cube is 2 meters. This would mean that this face, the left face, for right face, y is equal to 4 meters. Okay, for right face, y is equal to 4 meters. Left face is at a distance of 2 meters from it. So for right face, y is equal to 2 meters. So it's like origin to right, uh, left face, 2 meters. Then left face to right face, another 2 meters. Then that 2 plus 2 becomes 4. So for right face, y is equal to 4 meters. For left face, y is equal to 2 meters. X uh, is not our concern. Uh, now field given. Field given. This is important to note here. Field given is minus 3i minus 4y squared uh, j uh, plus 3k. Now, we have already discussed it in, in our previous sessions also that this is a uniform component. Uniform component. And uniform component will not contribute anything to flux through a closed surface. Uniform component will not contribute anything to the flux through the closed surface. Now, if it is an open surface, then obviously it will contribute. But it is a closed surface. What does that mean? Uh, this component, you see x component of the field is in negative direction. So that means x component of the field is inward. Whatever flux, whatever field lines will go into the cube from this side, all the field lines will come out from the other side. So inward flux will be same as outward flux. With the result, this will not contribute anything to the total flux. Inward and outward. Inward, remember, is negative. Outward is positive. So they'll cancel out. This component is also uniform. So this will again not contribute anything to the flux. Flux will be zero because of this one. This component is non-uniform. This component is non-uniform. So this is the one that will contribute to flux. So flux uh, will not be zero because of this component. So the, in order to find our flux through the cube, we just need to consider this component because we now know the other, compo other components will not contribute anything to the flux. So we just need to consider this uh, 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 component. And this component is in y direction. Okay, is in negative y direction to be precise. Negative y direction here, uh, y axis is here. So negative y direction is leftward. Okay, negative y direction is leftward. That means field due to this component, this component of the field is leftward. If this component of the field is leftward, it is parallel to front face. It's going leftward this way, it's parallel to front face. It's again parallel to the top face. Field is leftward, it's parallel to the top face. It's again parallel to the back face. It's again parallel to the bottom face. So if it's parallel to the bottom face, parallel to the front face, parallel to the top face, parallel to the back face, so no field line will cross these faces because the field lines are going parallel to these faces. So no, none of the field lines will cross through them. So flux will be zero through front face, through top face, through bottom face, through the back face. This is important. That means flux will be only through the right face here, right face, which is perpendicular to y axis. So field lines will cross through it, definitely cross through it. And the left face, which is not visible in this case. So flux will be through the right face and through the left face. Okay, through the right face and through the left face. So we'll find out flux due to this component through the right face and through the left face. That will be the total flux through the cube. 
So right face now. Now, uh, since side is 2 meters, let me choose another color. Since side is 2 meters, so area will be 4. 2 into 2 is 4. And direction of this area on this side, right face, will be out. Remember, it is outward normal, so that's going to be positive y direction. So area of the right face can be written as 4j. Okay, 4j unit vector. And for the left face, magnitude the same, 4 meter uh, square, but that area will be leftward, outward normal. So it is minus 4j, minus 4j. Now uh, let's write out, write down the field. Now the field that will contribute to the flux, which is the y component of the field, that is uh, minus 4y squared, minus 4y squared. J. This is the only one we will uh, we'll consider. Now, flux, flux through the cube is equal to flux through the right face plus flux through the left face. For the right face, we already know y is equal to 4 meters. We already know for the right face, y is equal to 4 meters. And for the left face, y is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 meters. For the left face, y is equal to 2 meters. Okay, y is equal to 2 meters. Now, let's move on. Flux is simply E dot A. So, minus 4 y squared j unit vector dot, this is the right face, A 4 uh, j. 4j. So this is through the right face for which y is equal 4 meters. Okay, for which y is equal 4 meters. Then plus, then plus for the left face, e is equal to minus 4y squared j dot. For the left face, uh, area is minus 4j. Minus 4j. This is for the left face. For which y is equal to 2 meters. For which y is equal to 2 meters. Remember 4 minus 2 is 2. 4 for this face minus 2 because side length is 2. Then 2 uh, for the left face. So let's find out the total flux now. For the right face y is equal to 4 meters. Okay, y is equal to 4. So this is 4 squared. Then we have 2 more 4. So 4 to the power 4. But minus times. Okay, minus times two to, uh, 4 to the power 4. So flux through the cube is equal minus 4 to the power 4. Then the left face, then the left, minus minus is plus, jj is 1, uh, again here jj was 1. Uh, we have y equal to 2 now, so it is 2 square and then 4 into 4 is 4 square. So we have 4 square into 2 square, so this is equal to minus uh, 256. 256 plus 64, which is equal to minus 192, minus 192 Newton meter square per coulomb. So this is flux through the cube. This is flux through the cube. Now remember, we have to find out charge enclosed by the cube. Okay, charge. So we are just one step away from it now. Charge enclosed by the cube. So therefore, charge enclosed by the cube is simply epsilon 0 times flux through the cube. Flux through the cube. Epsilon 0, 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. Then flux through the cube is minus 192. We are using both of them in SI system. So charge will get in coulombs. This is minus 1.7. I already worked it out. So Q enclosed is minus 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Minus 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 9, not 19, minus 9 coulomb. Okay, 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulombs. So, that will do for this session.